This is Brother Mario Camry who gave us that wonderful poem on today. He wants to be a part of this ministry. And we want him to be a part of this ministry. He just looked like he ready to work for the Lord. He just looked like he'll be a good soldier. Amen. You know, you don't know what God will do. If you're coming to Ray too, we want men to come to this church. We want women to come to this church. We want this church just filled up, don't we? And we don't want them just to come. We want them to, we want them to be soldiers in here. And Brother Mario, I don't know your relationship with God. But I do want you to know that I'm a man of God. And I won't tell you nothing wrong. The Bible said according to Acts 2.38, he talked to us about repentance. I talked to y'all about that Wednesday night, about repentance. And after you repent, he, he challenged you to go down in Jesus' name. Now, there are many baptisms that's out here today, but it ain't but one baptism that God honors. That's the baptism in Jesus' name. What was Sister Johnson? Sister, you read it for me. I don't see Sister Paul, but read the 19th chapter of Acts. Right here, my face. You're doing a job. You, you, right here, my face. That's okay. okay. I, want, I want to read this to Brother Mario. Because I want him to come in right. It came to pass. While Apollo was at Corinth, Paul, having passed through the upper course, came to Ephesus. Finding certain disciples. Now, listen, when he says certain disciples, he's talking about church folk. Now, ain't nothing wrong with being in the church. And ain't nothing wrong with, uh, with, 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 with somebody coming here in whatever denomination they're from. We're we not to criticize anybody from wherever belief they come from. Because all of these churches got some good in them. But it's still our responsibility to let them know about the true baptism. The baptism in Jesus' name. All right? He said unto them, Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believe? They said unto him, See, be honest. See, church folk tell the truth. But see, see, it, it's folk that, that, that been down in Jesus' name, feel the Holy Ghost, want to be arrogant many times. Don't want nobody to know that some things you just don't know. These church folks or whatever they are, Baptists, because they were born, they, 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 they're going to tell you right here, they were, they were born unto John's baptism. So we're going to call them Baptists. They, 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 they understood that, uh, that I'm supposed to follow something. They weren't just rank sinners or somebody at the church. But John want to show them, I mean, Jesus, Peter, Paul want to show them a more excellent way. Uh-huh. We have not so much as even heard whether that be in the Holy Ghost. Ain't no shame in admitting you don't know some things. Uh-huh. And he said unto them, now what I want to ask Brother Mario is people be saying don't make no difference as long as you baptize. Why would Paul ask how would you baptize if the way you baptize don't make a difference? Why would the question be asked? How would you baptize if it don't make any difference? If you invite me to a party and it's a come as you are, why are you asking where am I wearing? Right. It's not a dress up party. You say I can come as I am. Right. But if it's black and white, it's a concern to you that I don't come in there with blue jeans on. Right. Why? Because it's a black and white attire. So if it don't matter how you should be baptized, why would he ask how was you baptized? Right. Okay. Uh-huh. And they said, they didn't say we hadn't been baptized. We've been baptized, but under John's baptism. And what did he say? Then said John, and then said Paul, John barely baptized, John barely baptized the with the baptism of repentance. Said unto the people that they should believe on him. What should come after? That is, that is on, Christ on Christ Jesus. Now listen, now, now, I don't care how long you've been in the church, when the word convict you, you got to change it like a rank son of straight out the street. 
And, and when they heard the word and the word com, com, convicted them, what happened? When they heard and when they heard this, they were baptized. They were baptized, the now, they were baptized over. See, this had already been, but they had confessed they'd been baptized, but they got baptized over in the name of the Lord Jesus. See, it, it was three baptisms in your whole Bible. The baptism of John, the baptism of Moses, and now the baptism in Jesus' name. And all baptism was only good for the day and time. Now, the baptism in Jesus' name is the only baptism for the day. See, when somebody said, I baptize you in Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, that's not the name. Father's not a name. Son is not a name. See, Jesus was talking to people that knew him. He said, baptize them in the name of the Father. See, they had to find out what the Father's name is. John said that, uh, that I, I, I send the Holy Ghost in, in the comfort, I send the comfort in, in, in my Father's name, and his, na his Father's name, what, 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 if, he said I send the comfort in my name, and my name is Jesus. If I'm going to send the comfort in my name, and my name is Jesus, the Holy Ghost going to be called Jesus. I come in my Father's name, if I come in my Father's name, my name is Jesus, that means my Father was Jesus. The son, you know, he was, his name was Jesus. Whatsoever you do in words and deeds, you do it in the name of Jesus. Amen? That's why you got to baptize in Jesus. And, and that's why the devil don't mind you praying in his name. He don't mind you married in his name. He don't mind you um, uh, praying over your food in his name. But when it comes to baptism, everybody will argue with you that it don't make no difference how you baptize. And it do make a difference. I can show you three places in the book of Acts where the apostles baptized only in the name of Jesus. See, um, this revelation has been given to those that know him. Now when he said, I, he said, go ye therefore to all the world, baptize them in the name of the Father. See, they knew who the Father was. He was Father in creation. He was Son in redemption. He was the Holy Ghost in the church. So you have to know who the Father, the Father is Jesus. The Bible said that she shall bear forth. The Bible said that uh, in the book of Isaiah, uh, this one thing about, in the book of Isaiah, the Bible said unto us a child is born. And a son is given, and his name shall be called what? Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Prince of Peace, the Everlasting Father. Now, right here, show that Jesus was Father. He was God. And the Bible said, there's another God beside me. I don't know him. See, everybody don't know who Jesus was. Jesus came in, 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 in a baby's body, came from heaven. God himself rubbed himself in a baby's body to come and do a job. But his name is Jesus. Whatsoever you do in words and deeds, you got to do it in that name. And so what I want to challenge you today is to receive the baptism in Jesus' name. And my question to you, are you willing to accept that? Take him to the water. Listen to that. The brother said, take him to the water. Take me to the water. Take me to the water. The brother said, take him to the water. Go get it ready. Amen. The brother said, take him to the water. That's what I'm talking about. You got to do it according to God's word. Amen. You got to do it according to God's word. Amen. Sister Tucker, them got tired. They must know something's going to go on. Amen. Go baptize this brother in Jesus' name. Is that another one that want to go down in Jesus' name? That's another one that want to go down in Jesus' name. We don't want to deprive you. There's another that want to go down in Jesus' name. But so whatever you do in words, do, do it in that name. There's another that want to go in his name. Father of creation, son of redemption, the Holy Ghost in the church. He said, he said that I send you the comforter in my name, the Holy Ghost. She shall bring forth a son that she call his name Jesus. And we just heard Isaiah say his name should be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Prince of Peace, the Everlasting Father. Philip says, show us the Father was a us. And he said, when you see me, you see it, the Father. And so you cannot separate Jesus from the Father. You can't separate him from the Son. You can't, you can't make him not be the Holy Ghost. I say, the comfort in my name. And if he's sinning in his name, his name is Jesus. So the Holy Ghost is Jesus. So you got to do it in that name. All in the book of Acts, you can't show me no way where they baptized no other way but in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen.